Good. All right. So we thought to get open road on a Tuesday afternoon. It's not quite panning out uh, because there's traffic almost everywhere. But this is slightly more open, um, fairly close to Athi River. So there's something we want to try out as soon as I see an open patch of road, which is put it into sports mode. What he had was dynamic, which is fairly responsive. But sports, I am told, is far more responsive, um, stiffer suspension, so you can corner very flat. Um, the gears change a lot better. You can do it on the move, which is um, something different from quite what a few other cars have. Those ones you probably need to stop to put it in. So the guy behind me, taking a video by the way, unbelievable, putting my hazards on, uh, taking a video of the FPS. So we're gonna burn them because they're in uh, a Honda. So they don't have sports mode. So press down, put it in sports. Now let's go. You can hear that? Old KBQ is far behind us, but because traffic is what it is, we've had to hit the brakes. But yes, it's a lot more responsive. Uh, it just flies out um, of the blocks. And for an SUV, or what did you call it, by the way? A PSV. A P he's whispering a PS a P a P S V a P S U V, which is an active something something all-purpose sport vehicle. Yes, you can hear the whatever. Oh, okay, KBQ are stand away, but he got a good video of a very pretty backside. But there we are, we're in sports. Listen to that. And hoping there's no cops in front of us. Uh, still within legal speeds, but just barely. Um, but sports is radically different from normal dynamic mode. It also breaks um, a lot sportier in the sense of uh, downshifting to help you with your braking. You can feel that. Probably saw the camera move. So, yes, you can, um, when you're on the open road, Within legal limits, I need to say because this is going out on the internet um, and within the law, then you can actually be a bit better. And even within, when you're trying to stick within legal speeds just to hit a bit of space to overtake, it's a very useful mode to be in. The only thing, obviously, is your fuel consumption is going to go through the floor. Um, so don't get over excited by sports. That's probably. Instead of saying S for sports, you should say S for Sunday. So Sunday afternoon drives when you hit those sorts of speeds. Uh, we got down or into a uh, Down. Don't bother. Just go straight. Okay, so let's go straight. Um, this is another number warning for the police. So, like I said, with a bit of a wink, we are still within legal speed. I promise you. But yeah, now you can feel it. So if you imagine going down with this car for a bit of uh, a drive into longer distances, this would be quite the drive. So just passing out the river, the little tricky place where everyone forgets that it's a dual carriage. It's not like sometimes the lorries come straight, so I needed to watch out for that. But yeah, so just passing that, open it up slightly, went up to slightly beyond 110 kph, slightly beyond 110 kph. Was very very good um, so it works as um, sort of in town tourer out on the open road feels a lot better the car is only got what 400 kilometers on it so barely running so it probably gets better dynamically as you go along so it does feel very very good on sports mode um, dynamic mode like we said for when you're driving normally um, is also very very useful so just hit a little spot up ahead um, like I said, stop the car, take a few nice photographs for the collection and for the newspaper that you'll be seeing at some point in the business daily of the East African, and then head back into the nightmare of Arabic traffic. So the Jaguar F-Pace, uh, what we have is right now, what we're sitting in is the Jaguar F-Pace R Sport, sportier version. There's still entry levels, which is the diesel. There's higher levels if you're a big man, um, both with what you want to do with the car and with your wallet. But this sits um, in a nice place um, in the upper middle of that segment and it drives very, very well.